I just got it in test mode. I'm draining the water and it's actually um, responding, the sensor. Before it was staying, I don't know, 229, 230. Sometimes it would hit, you know, I think just above 230 and stay there till it was pretty much almost empty and then it'll go up a little bit. So it's actually responding immediately. So what was the fix? Pulling the hose off the bottom of the uh, drum and that's about it. <laughs> I couldn't really see down there so I just pulled it off and moved the hose around and looked at it and um, I don't know, maybe debris fell out of it. I'm thinking maybe there was a clog in there. Um, I'm not quite sure. But ever since I did that, it's been working. So, the uh, troubleshooting guide for this code, for the OE, or is it OE or 0E, um, uh, for the drainage issue, they say, well, check your filter down there, which is basically just a plastic screen. Um, let's see, make sure that's not clogged. And make sure the drain tube is not plugged up um, and if those aren't plugged up then you're gonna have to replace the pump and <laughs> how many people have probably replaced the pump and it's been a problem with how this sensor reads from that tube which goes all the way down to the bottom Do it again. Make sure it locks. The door lock on this is sometimes a little uh, wacky. Oops. Okay. Thought I hit it one too many times. So it's filling up. And it's immediately go, uh, filling up, the sensor would respond fairly quickly. So, it really wasn't an issue with the sensor responding to it filling. It was when, uh, it, was when it was draining, the sensor wasn't reading at all. I have another video on that. Both the displays here. It's kind of hard to see, but um, no, there's water in there. I don't know if you can, you can kind of see it there. Water line. Just filling up. The lowest is about 229. There we go. Online, there's a document, or um, not document, but a uh, kind of a forum type of post. And they say it gets down to 214, I think it was, but I think the that varies based on model, year, design. You know, there's quite a few different ones that LG makes, so this particular model seems to get to 229. And it pretty much hits that number every time. So. Maybe we'll even get to 228. If we let it sit long enough. In either case, I'm not gonna wait. Kind of have to hit the button in kind of like one second intervals. You go too fast and it doesn't register it. 
but you can see immediately on the meter it's responding. This is a little bit slower to react because that's more sensitive than this. Well, it reads further down. This is basically interpreted as a basic number. Twenty three point nine, twenty four. There you go. I don't know if you can see the water. Oh, I can hardly see the water. But I say that's a, a win because the sensor was not responding that quick at all uh, before. And there we go. Now uh, it's empty. Uh, pump's still running. I'm going to shut it off and that number will probably drop down a little bit because there's still water in the pipe that it can't get out, obviously, so it'll drain back in. That number will probably drop a little bit, I'm assuming. Yeah, a little bit. Not too much. Well, good. I think that's a win. So, the troubleshooting guy on this is... Uh, Pretty ridiculous, as with most things. I mean, even on the automotive industry, most times they tell you to replace the computer when it's a sensor because they don't tell you how to test everything. So, um, well, and they also tell you that the pump tells the computer what the water level is at, and that is not true. It might do some current measurements on that pump, on at least on this model. It might. There's only two wires going to it. Power ground. That's it. So, um, we have a uh, sensor here that's basically telling the computer uh, where the water level's at based on pressure. Probably the, um, you know, vibration and stuff in the drum as well. But, all right, well, there it is. Good to know. Good to know it's working. I like to have a verified fix of, well, whatever I did. <laughs> Pulling the hose off. Roll it around a little bit to try and see if there's anything junk in there and put it back on. That's all I did. <laughs>